Hey, what's up guys? I have a pretty cool unboxing here. I got two big uh, box sets that I got from Shout Factory's uh, website. Uh, they had some, I don't know what it was called, some specific sale. It took, if you spent like 50 bucks, it would be free shipping like usual, but then you'd also take another 20% off of the, the, the contents of the cart. So this is two box sets that I've been waiting to get for a while. I planned on just getting them on Amazon at some point. But uh, this is the cheapest, with the 20% off, it's the cheapest I've ever gotten them, so. Um, I guess without further ado, you already know it's, it's in the title, so. Like I said, I just haven't had a chance to get this. This is my packing slip, and yep, just the two box sets. From a shop factory, they're a couple years old now, I think. This actually, kind of, these are packed pretty well. Well, cool. See that? That's one. Two actually individually packaged or uh, what do you call it packed. That's a nice box I can use for reshipping. Okay, so I got both. I think there's four movies in each of these, so whichever one, let's try this one here first. Whichever's first. I like how they package this. I never bought two box sets like this at once, so I don't know. If this is the normal pack. It's like actually kind of like a Christmas present. It's, uh, it's awesome. Ah. Try not to rip it, but I guess I totally cut it. Okay. And this one is the Critters set. Hold on. Put that aside. With the hard box. Actually, I thought this was a little slimsier. This is actually really nice. Um, so this is the Critters collection. It is Critters 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, Critters 2 is also tied to the main chorus, which is cool. I don't know if the other ones have subtitles, but... Um, or sub whatever um so yeah i've only seen the first film and i actually only watched it last year for the first time and it was pretty cool i was it was kind of funny uh it was very dumb like i'm assuming these are all pretty fucking dumb especially the two other sequels but um the first two i thought was pretty cool it was fun um but i'm looking forward to checking these out i plan on probably not watching these until around the halloween period october whatnot and i'm gonna try to see if i can watch all four um try to squeeze in as much horror around that time as I can, but uh, I guess I could watch them sooner, but you know. No posters, no extras, and it, the, the, the um, poster sold out a long time ago. I think it was two posters, actually. So I didn't get a chance for that, but that's fine. I didn't, I don't, I've actually been running out of space to put posters. I've actually got a bunch of posters still sealed up because i got nowhere to put them, so. I might have to stop um, getting the posters from stream because I don't have any space. Or I have to be specific about ones I get. Because um, I'm out of space, or almost out of space. Uh, there we go. Just regular shrink wrap. And I don't notice any dings in the corners, which is nice. That's actually probably better than if I order from Amazon. I'm sure it would be fucking dings. I feel like every single time I order from Amazon now. But that's just a different rant, so. Look, it's in good shape. Like I said, very sturdy. I'm really glad that they do this. Not the flimsier case like they did for, um... Uh, I think the, um, my, um, Amityville Horror one's a little thin. I wish it was a little thicker, but that's, you know... Actually, what's it say on the back here? They're back and ready to devour your Blu-ray player. That's fine. Terrifying and Tiny Menaces are out in full force with this four-film collection packed with enough special features to make any fan's mouth water. Well, that's nice. This came out in 2017, I think? No, 2018. Really? Oh, okay. Um, Critters, the Terrifying... Well, I guess you can just read that. I'm not going to go through all that. I did know that Leo is in the third one. So you can pause that and read that if you want, but I'm not too concerned, because like I said, the stories don't really matter. It's just fun. Very cool. Here are the films. Critters 1. Same thing, I'll just... Uh, put this up here and you can look at them. I think it's, I mean, like I said, I watched it. I would. I don't know if I would give this thumbs up. Siskel Lieber did, apparently. From 1986. It's pretty cool. And is this reversible? It is. Ooh. Let's take a look at that. Actually, I was considering this. If you look at these posters, it's the exact same, like, image almost. Is, is the exact same image, basically, with a little slightly different. So I'm going to change that. Critters 2, the main course. It's the exact same, yeah. 
So I'll switch this around. Because I like to have different artwork, if possible. I'm assuming this is the original poster, um, theatrical poster for Critters. I thought it was a very uh, cool little creature feature. Battle began, another galaxy, it's about to end in the Browns' backyard. The Cleveland Browns? And then there's teeth up there. And then two. Yeah, because there's like two bounty hunters chasing the critters or something like that, or. I don't remember now. But yeah, like I said, I guess you can do a new 2K scan. I actually watched this on. Um, I think it was either Amazon or Voodoo. I just watched it for free. So the, the transfer was just normal. So it'd be nice to get a better scan. Very cool. I guess I could take a look here. There is a new They Bite Making Critters featurette in recent actors, Dee Wallace. Oh, she's in that, that's right. Scott Grimes, Don Opper, Terrence Mann, and Lynn Shea, producers of stuff. Um, new tribute to the screenwriter. And then alternating theatrical trailers to be spots. So actually, quite a bit of new stuff, actually. That's cool. Critters 2, the main course, which is cool. The best, um... Subtitle for a movie though for a sequel though is the, that I think by far is house Two: the second story, which is just It's just great. I love it <clears throat> They are back for seconds so here it's been two years since I don't, I don't want to read that you can pause it if you want A new scan a new making of Looks like it's the same people actually And then behind the scenes dead of a trailer the usual stuff Curtis 2 disc. And there is that artwork. I like that actually. Let's change that over. It's everyone's turn for seconds. <laughs> Look at that ball. Ball of critters. They just made a um like fifth film actually um i think it was on sci-fi or something or was it i don't think it was theatric at least it was a direct video but uh i heard it wasn't very good but you know i would check it out at some point although i haven't seen either and i've heard those are terrible so i don't know that's cool these are those different like i've, I've mentioned them before but these the cases i don't understand how they decide what to use for cases this is a little bit flimsier but also feels kind of i don't know how to describe it I'm assuming it's it's not eco exactly because they don't have they have this but it's not all the way through but it's it's very clear that they're using less plastic which I guess is is good for the planet and shit but you know we like to complain about that stuff so yeah that's cool artwork though critters three you are what they eat <laughs> first they destroy the farm then they tear the town now they're ready to do some real damage so this is like critters in the big city or something. This one with Leo in it. Good performance, Arrow. And this ravenously fun sequel. So yeah, you can go ahead and pause that if you want. Most outrageous installment. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, a making of. With uh, interviews for a lot of the same people again. And then a trailer and still go. So less features, but still. Very cool. Take a look at that. Huh. Okay, I'll, I'll switch that over too. Critters 3. I've seen that artwork multiple times before. And again, I just assume this is the um, theatrical artwork. It's very stupid, but it's funny. What's that they have like long hair? It's funny. And a beard. Very cool. Mysterious. This is from 1991, and the second one was from 88, so a couple years after. Yeah. So yeah, like I said, I don't have a whole lot to say about these, I guess, but you know, like I said, I haven't seen them. And this is actually a different case. See? I don't know if you can tell the difference here. This is more of a rounded case, and this has got more of a edge to it. And, um, well, they feel about the same, but this is the cases that I'm used to. I like these cases better. These are fine, but you know. Anyway, this, of course, is Critters 4 in space, because they have to end it with being in space. To outer space. So you can pause it if you want. Brad Dourif's in it. 
and Angela Bassett, really? Huh. Uh, feature ad again, uh, plus a trailer and still gallery. This is from 1992, so a year after the third one. Very cool. What does that look like? <clears throat> Critters 4. They are invading your space. I like it. Let's switch that around too. So I got all the original theatrical poster arts. I assume again that this is theatrical. Look at that fucking thing. Space. They're invading your space. <laughs> their spaceship back there. It's fun. So I guess, you know, I also assume most people have probably seen these by now. There's one, two, three, and four. Very cool. And there's the spines with the new artwork. I like it a lot. So I'm looking forward to checking those out when come this uh, Halloween season. Okay, and here's the other one. I've seen none of these. Um, I've heard these are very good films. Well, just like Critters, the first two are good, but uh, the rest of them are not. That is up to snuff. That is just typical. Here's the Wreck Collection. And I don't think, I really don't think I've seen, let's move this out of the way. I don't think I've seen any of these. If I have, it's, I didn't know what I was watching. So there's Wreck 1. Rec 2, Rec 3, Genesis, and Rec 4, Apocalypse. I've heard that one's not very good at all. I've heard these two are fantastic, and this one's just average. <laughs> Which, again, is typical in the sequel continuity. Um, they did remake this first film, I think, in America called um, Quarantine, I think. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Um, starring um, Deborah from Dexter. What's her name? Uh, Jennifer Carpenter. And I've heard that's not very good, but I guess I haven't seen it either, so. Um, so yeah, let me actually let's just, let's just open this up so we can take a better look without it being all shiny. I've been meaning to get this for a while, but like I said, it's just, it was just more expensive than I want, more money than I wanted to spend. And um, I am glad I waited because I was able to get it for at least a minor discount. I think originally this one was like 56 or so dollars, and with the discount it came to about 40 or so. And then same with this. It was a little bit cheaper, I think. It was about 35 with the discount. Because I think it came to be about $86 or something like that. So for both of them. And I thought that was a good deal. Well, there's actually a bit of a ding right there. Which isn't terrible, I guess. But no, I don't like my dings. That's not so bad. <laughs> considering. Okay, well here's the back. Quadrilogy of Terror. Lots of um, images. Special features, making of, behind the scenes, outtakes, deleted scenes, trailers, the usual stuff. In 2007, two talented Spanish filmmakers created a terrifying film that went on to spawn three sequels. An American remake and a sequel, yeah. They had a sequel to Quarantine, too? I guess I don't know. In the first film, Wreck, a TV reporter and her crew are asked to cover a team of firemen on duty, which seems like a routine story about a night at the fire station soon turns into a nightmare. Trapped inside a quarantined building, crew must try to figure to survive the terror that rages inside. Hmm. Act 2 picks up minutes after the end. Okay. I'm not going to read all these because I don't actually don't want to be spoiled because I'm actually more interested in these. These actually have a real storyline, I think, than I, I guess Quitters does. So you can pause those and read those if you want. See, I don't know any of these characters, so I don't want to. I'm looking forward to checking these out too because I've heard Rec One specifically is very good. Yeah. Rec Experience Fear. Record, of course. The terror unfolds in real time. So not just record like like found footage, but actually you know, personal use. It's a camera uh, reporter, camcorder. This does not have reversible light work. Okay, cool. That's fine. Um, I, if I understand, it's like Rage Zombies, sort of like from the movie um, <coughs> 28 Days Later, that those series. Again, I don't know. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. I just bumped the camera. But I'm leaving it in because I don't do any editing. Um, what's that say? Okay. 
Well, I'll read this first one. Like I said, I know more about this one, even though I don't know that much. But A TV reporter, Manuela Velasco, and her cameraman are doing a routine interview at a local fire station when an emergency call comes in, accompanying the firefighters to a nearby apartment building. This team begins recording and blood-curdling screams from the inside an elderly woman's apartment. Hmm. After authorities seal off the building to contain the unspecified threat, the news crew, firefighters, and residents are trapped to face a lethal terror inside. With the cameras running, nothing may survive the fun itself. The film itself, not the fun itself. I can't read today. So she looks fucking nuts. There's fucking things going on there. That's cool. And this is from 2007, like it said. Uh, special features, audio commentaries, uh, making of, teaser. I don't know if this is any of this is new. It doesn't say new. That's okay, though. Like I said, I don't know anything about these films, so it's fine. Uh, so I'm assuming this might just be a port from the original all the features anyway might be ports it doesn't say anything about a new scan either so it's newer I suppose 2007 and beyond for these so maybe they don't need it but that's fine wreck okay wreck 2 fear revisited is the one that picks up right after the first film. A super scary sequel that will have you screaming for more. Tony Tacoma and Fangoria. 15 minutes from where the original film left off, taking us back inside the quantity department. Okay. Um, it says deleted scenes, behind the scenes featurettes, a walk through the set, a tour, uh, film festivals, and a trailer. Directed by. Jermaine Barbera and oh, it's the first one both the same people? Yes, it is. So it's the same team directing. That's always nice. Okay. Yeah. And different art there too. Although it's just background art, not uh, reversible. So it looks like there's actually military this time. It looks like not firefighters. That is cool. Now it's someone with a chainsaw and may kiss the bride. What the fuck? That's somebody else now. Wait. Is it? No, it's the same person. Except it's just the one guy this time, not both of them. Next to Genesis. <clears throat> so I don't know about this. Uh, so it's not containing the story, I guess. But like I said, I don't I don't want to read it if that's going to tell me something happened. Caliphal, you're the top. A welcome departure that keeps things fresh. Okay, so yeah, it must be a new story. Looks like, yeah. But of course, this is a Spanish series of Spanish films um, with uh, subtitles. I think, yeah, Spanish and English subtitles. Uh, deleted scenes, outtakes, and trailers. So not as much features here, but that's fine. I don't usually mind that as much, as if I haven't seen the films. Welcome on board. Hmm. Rec Four Apocalypse. And that's that's the other guy, right? Jaime. Jaime. Well, uh, I'm going to butcher it, sorry. I think it's... So they just took turns directing the sequel. That's funny. Wreck 4 Apocalypse. It's a little dark there. So this one take place on a ship. So this is happening after the apartment building. So yeah, I'm, I got another continuity here, but that's cool. Plenty of gory horror fun. But I've heard this one is not good at all, so... And as far as I know, they haven't made any sense. This is 2014, actually. Which one was this? This is 20... 12 and then 2009. Huh. This has a making of and a trailer, which, you know, that's fine. <clears throat> the apocalypse has just begun. Hmm. It's the same actress, though, so she must have lived all the way through. A spoiler, I don't know. I can imagine. Um, just like the Resident Evil series and stuff, changing the location can really um, make things different. Like putting zombies on a ship, of course you're very confined, so it would be very uh, different. These are all the same cases, unlike the Critters one. These are all the regular cases that you're used to, which is nice. With no dents or anything, I don't think. So That is cool. Like I said, I have seen none of those. Um, and I don't know a whole lot about them besides it's a film crew and there's like a zombie apocalypse type thing going on. So There they are. Both the new uh, ser uh, series of films. I have not seen majority of these. Like I said, I got this from uh, Shout Factory, Screen Factory sale 
that's been going on for a little while now. I think it's it's probably almost over by the time you're watching this, but I did I, I ordered it this last week, so um, it might still be going on. Oh, it's almost August, so if you're watching this late into August, it might not be on anymore. So the deal was, I think, if I'm remembering correctly, it was a specific thing. If you if you ordered fifty bucks or more, you'd get a twenty percent off code or something, or it would just take off twenty percent. And uh, I thought that was the best time to do this, and I've been wanting these for a while, so I figured why not. Very cool. Okay. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again later. Thanks for watching, guys. Got more stuff coming in the mail. Actually, August is almost here, and it's going to be a fucking... It's, it's insane. Well, the Marvel Steelbooks that are coming out, and I spent way too much goddamn money. But, of course, I had to collect everything, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> So yeah, there's gonna be more coming here, but um, right now this is what I'm, this is what I got. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you later. Twenty minutes long, Jesus. Okay, bye, guys. Sorry.